What's up, card fighters? Clark here from Vanguard Central, coming at you with the Dragon King's deck profile. Stand up! Vanguard! We have Wild Run Dragoon, so skill put it into the soul, and then you choose one of your opponent's uh, cards in the drop zone, and then bind it face up. Thunder Strike 2, give one of your units plus 5k. So we use Wild Run just to accelerate our binds in case we really need one, you know, in case uh, opponents are not trying to play any cards on the board. Uh, I do like Scytion a lot, but it kind of baits you into using CB that's really important for later. So that's so why we choose Wild Run. Uh, grade threes, we have one vermilion and three uh, drag. Was it dragonic kaiser crimson for our legion in case we get into really late game? Uh, we want to be able to legion back cards. Plus, it's like solid. You know, we get to swing at front row every single turn. And for the main boss of the deck, we run four dragonic vanquisher. So skill uh, on stride. CB1, bind one of your units, buy, uh, retire bind uh, one of your units in the front row. Uh, really, really powerful card. You want to ride this card just to accelerate your binds, obviously, and then to get all the names with like VMAX and Voltage. Um, yeah, so those are our grade threes. On to our grade twos, we have Voltage, Horn Dragon, Skill, uh, just like Amber Clone when it's boosted. Choose, uh, your opponent chooses one of their units, uh, retires, and binds it. So, really important card. Just uh, changes numbers during like voltage plays. Um, and so we have it at 3. For Chatura, for the annoying 11k poke. And it's just solid. Uh, early game, late game, whenever. And you get to, when you hit, you get to bind a unit in the drop zone. And draw a card. Oh. And then we have 4... Rock Climb Dragon uh, for the CB Soul Blast. Uh, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire and bind it, and gains plus two, so it's solid 11k every single play. Next, for our grade ones, we have four PGG, since the deck unflips a lot. Uh, we just want to conserve Counter Blast and, like, you know, be aggressive when we can and unflip when we can. Then we have two Dragonic Dancer. I don't know that name, whatever. I don't want to butcher it. Thunder Strike 2. Uh, Soul Blast 1. You can draw a card. So it replaces the, the chicken in our deck. You know, we don't want to use too much soul. So we just prefer to use her. Next we have four very important stride fodder. Because we, we need to stride in this deck in order for power pushes. And cool SP. Mighty Bolt SP is the best. And lastly we have four... Uh, Chi, was it Cha? Cha Dol Dragoon or something like Dragon? Yeah, Dragoon. Uh, so skill when a unit is bind is bound, uh, and this card is on the board. Your your opponent chooses a card in their drop zone and binds it. So if you have like three of these, it's great because <laughs> your opponent has to bind three cards, and you technically bound four cards in one turn. And the skill is to give plus two to other units, so you can just make good numbers. Uh, with these cards, you can push it up uh, on the voltage plays. So really solid. That's why we like it at four. Four triggers. You run obviously four heal, little dog heal, whatever that is. Five draw because you need to draw. You need to draw your uh, pieces in this deck uh, since you don't really have a re reliable draw engine. It's better to. Just have the extra draws as triggers. Four of the Vanquisher uh, crit. And three Malevolent, Malevolent Dijin to give plus 3k to anything, fill soul, etc. So seven crit, five draw in this build. With our G guards, we run two Lightning King Emperors, our Spirit Emperor Vitra uh, for that. Um, consistent plus 5k and bind uh, from bounded units, right? And then two of the new G Guardian uh, that is kind of like Denial Griffin, but not. Uh, it gets plus 10k in Thunder Strike 3, and 
if there is for every four bound cards in the bind zone of your opponent, you can retire one of the rested units. So if you have eight, super cool. If there's two rested rear guards in the front row, boom, boom, you get to retire both of them, uh, f just for G guarding with this guy. Otherwise, uh, really solid. I mean, you can always tech in the dismal or the screw, uh, but for now we're just testing this number out. For offensive strides, we run four. Um, Supreme Conquistador Dragon, Conquest Dragon, uh, simple act, flip over, copy, retire, a uh, front row rear guard, then plus 10k or plus 5k, depending on if they have any units in there. Um, otherwise, consistent change of pace, kind of, if you run out of your voltages or anything. So, of course, Conquest is in the deck. And then one of the Volts, Shepherd Dragon. Uh, for the plus 10k to van and retiring your opponent's field, even though you kind of already do that. Then <clears throat> pressure cards that we run. Uh, we run uh, Lightning Dragon Zorus, whatever the middle part is, who cares. Um, for the on hit and to retire and bind. Um, this card is normally the one you go into first, but having tested... I've uh, been testing the Vanquisher and the new Vanquisher stride. It might prove worthy to go into uh, Voltage first. I mean, even though it kind of sucks because you lose out on that GB3. But depending on your matchup, it, it helps you out later on for VMAX. Since VMAX is kind of like Turbo where he battles everything. So then we run four of the hard-hitting Voltage for his uh, G, his skill, which is, uh, if it, it's like Zorus on hit, re, uh, your opponent chooses one, retires it, binds two, but his GB3 skill is where he's really scary, where for each card in the bind zone, you give plus three to your entire front row, so you can just toss a trigger down, and you have six in the bind zone, You um, that's like, what, plus 18 immediately, and so that trigger's hitting for over 20k, so that's super good. And then, you know, these fill the name for our last and final two strides, which is VMAX, which, which is at the end of the battle that this unit um, had attacked, and your opponent has no rear guards, you can CB2, and your opponent has to take a damage just for free, who cares, in a sense. So you could end the game off VMAX skill if your opponent doesn't have rear guards, and his other continuous ability is for each face of Voltage, uh, Vanquisher Stride, um, right, is Vanquisher Stride? Yes. yes. Vanquisher, it battles uh, the other units on the board. So you can clear board if you have uh, three or four Voltages in your, um, in your uh, G-Zone face. So uh, this card's really good, especially against Angel Feather. I was able to clear like two Broken Hearts and just poop on this guy's field so he couldn't do those like serial shenanigans um, but I didn't use the the other um, skill uh, just because you know counter blast we want to conserve it for other uh, plays in the game otherwise yeah alright thank you guys for watching our Van uh, Vanquisher Dragon King deck profile um, it's really good pretty underrated for what it does um, you know you do need to, you need to tempo the game out to your pace Otherwise, the deck is just uh, really consistent in getting your binds and what you need. Um, but the Dragon King obviously does his job, especially against Angels, Link Joker, most likely. And, you know, that uh, CB2 give free damage can just end, uh, end games. So I hope you guys like the deck. Uh, comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more content. Vanguard Central out.